Mr. Shire, are conditions favorable in Germany today for a resurgence of the Nazi party or anything remotely similar? Well, at the moment, I would say uh, no, because uh, the Germans are in the midst of a tremendous prosperity. And as long as everybody's making a lot of money and buying a motor car and a new house, uh, they're not so interested in politics. But beneath the surface, uh, what they call neo-Nazism lurks. With the recent German elections just concluded, do you foresee any similarity between the present coalition set up and the coalition set up in the 30s? No, because the difference is in the 30s there were about 12 parties. And uh, you couldn't find a coalition after 31 uh, which uh, could make any policy that would get the backing of the Reichstag. Today, where you only have three parties, uh, these two parties now in coalition with Adenauer, the one that's going in with him, the Free Democrats, uh, will have a majority, one opposition party, and they ought to be able to function. Mr. Shah, you've been quoted as saying that you think that Adolf Hitler was a genius, and what do you base this statement? Well, I think you fail to add there that uh, there was a qualifying clause or a qualifying adjective. I said he was a genius, but an evil genius. Yes. And a man who went as far as he did from the gutter, who conquered a great country and then conquered most of Europe, uh, and uh, when you see the way he did it, you have to conclude that the man was a genius, but a very evil genius, a barbaric genius, I would call him.